Win on three. One, two, three. Win! A Thursday afternoon practice at California's Montclair High School. First year head coach Christian Okoye is trying to revive a team that has won just twice in the two years prior to his arrival. Uh, now listen, Paul. Listen. Today's objective? teaching running backs Paul Nolan and Tommy Mayfield how to read their blocks. There you go, inside. So what you were doing wrong is that you take it inside too fast. You know, if you see the guy hooked, you need to take it outside. He was actually dictating for you to go outside. You should have seen that. For two running backs and an entire team, football 101 was now in session. I like the way you handle things. When you're confused, you step to the line, you raise your hand, and you ask questions. That's what I want you to do. As a teenager, Okoye did not recognize the nuances of American football. He grew up in Nigeria, playing for his school soccer team, although his father was not a big fan. I told him, I don't want you to take to, uh, to soccer. Don't, don't, don't play. I send you to school to learn. Okoye furthered his education by earning a track scholarship to Azusa Pacific College in California. Hoping to become a teacher, he became a pupil the first time he ever saw a football. I thought it was weird. <laughs> I remember a friend of mine trying to teach me to throw the ball. You know, I couldn't throw it, you see. Um, he told me that I have to put a spin on it, and I, don't, I didn't know how to do that. It took him two years to learn how to throw a spiral but he put a whole new spin on the college running back position. In his senior year, Okoye led the nation in rushing. He was drafted in the second round by the Chiefs, Okoye! thanks to his lineman-like strength and sprinter-like speed. David Craig hands off Christian, big hole, by the five. In his third season, he led the league in rushing despite being a novice at the game and not even knowing his own strength. <laughs> Okoye weighed 30 pounds more than Earl Campbell and ran the 40 faster than Jerry Rice. Boy, he is too big and too fast to be playing running back in the NFL. He's going to wear your ass out. He's going to wear your ass out, baby. Oh! Oh, he went through those people. Yeah. No good, did it? Yeah. yeah. And off Okoye, he's past the 10, he's past the 5, he chucks it, touchdown! Unbelievable! An incredible run by the Nigerian nightmare, Christian Okoye! He arrived on the football scene as fast as his first step, and then just as quickly, he was gone. Not playing football, growing up, it was really easy for me to walk away. Um, when I started getting injuries here and there, um, I thought it was time for me to go on. Despite early retirement, Okoye became one of Kansas City's greatest rushers. Although his players remember him more for a confrontation with the Broncos' Steve Atwater. Let's go, let's go. They got Okoye at fullback. I don't give a f he played wide receiver. Hey, Christian in. Christian's still in. What's the name? Baby, we got lead on his ass this time, baby. Let me really give it up. Yeah, I remember seeing it on TV. That was brutal. <laughs> he got laid out. His knees buckled. Boom. Everybody makes fun of him. And I mean, you know, everybody laughs at him. Dealing with his players' good-natured ribbing is easy compared to coping with their off-the-field problems. One of our kids was pulled out of school. They took him. Taking him, he has to go back to a continuation school. I feel bad for the kid because he was working real hard and a uh, very nice kid, you know, uh, but because of what he did in the past, they, they pulled him out. Had to do with the CIF office and some drugs and this other school. So they're going to send him back to community school? Yeah, they're going to send him back. If I keep in contact with this kid, uh, I believe that maybe if he's still doing whatever he did wrong, he might turn around. Okoye's relationship with his players is reminiscent of his bond with Chiefs coach Marty Schottenheimer. Marty's very good with, with players, you know. When he deals with you, he calls you to the side, puts his arm around your shoulder and talks to you, you know, man to man. That approach I, I take 
and it works. He's always positive, Good job, man. Good job. He's never negative, you know. Keep on, guys, keep on working hard, you know. Do a mistake, ask questions, go again, go again. There you go! Good job, boy. Good job! I really love the way you've been really positive. You have your whole staff positive with you. Thank you, hey. thank you. His positive outlook isn't the only characteristic he inherited from Schottenheimer. Keep it up, keep it up. Bro, are you okay? All right. Are you okay? Yeah. 100%? Yeah. Good. <laughs> I just talked to my friend, Jonathan Hayes, whom I played in Kansas City with. I was telling him, we have a game tomorrow, and I had the kids coming out today to practice in full gear. He says, okay, Marty. Because <laughs> that's what he did to us, you know. We come out to practice in full pads every, every day. I remember every time before the game, he would say, one, one play at a time. One play. I tell the kids to say one play at a time. We're gonna take it one play at a time, guys. One play at a time. One play at a time. Okoye's pregame message was heard loud and clear at the Cavaliers' home opener, but it was obvious his words of wisdom to his running backs at practice had fallen on deaf ears. Come on, Paul, don't tiptoe in there. Okoye realized his backs needed a quick refresher course. When you spread it out like that, don't keep going to the sideline. You gotta turn up, you know, they already spread out. They are running this way, so just plant your feet and go uphill. Back Tommy Mayfield aced his next assignment. Come on, run, 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 run! Yeah! Baby, yeah! Good job, man, good job, good job. Paul always takes it inside. Paul Nolan's bounce outside proved his mentor wrong. Just when I said, to, said that Paul takes it inside too much, he dipped inside and took it outside. Oh, that was sweet. <laughs> and on a game deciding fourth down play, Okoye called Paul's number again. Coach, bounce. Paul, go in there. I told you, I told you, I told you. Christian Okoye took an unusual path to his first win as a head coach. He came to the U.S. hoping to be a teacher and through his classroom of 30 kids on a football field, the Nigerian nightmare found the American dream. <laughs> 